Social media icons are popular and it's something you might want to add to your Google site. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is, um, would work for a Google site or any website uh, that would allow you to use HTML code. I'm sure everyone's seen these type icons on websites before. This is Spring Valley Viking update. You click on the icon, it takes you to another spot online where you can find information about Spring Valley High School. So you could use the social media icons to uh, provide links to places online where your viewers um, might find information about the school, or you can link to places where viewers might find uh, more or be able to access more information about you. All right, let me show you how to do it. You need to use a service like Photo Bucket, um, which is free and easy to set up an account that will allow online file hosting. You can store files in your Google Drive, but that's not the same as online file ho hosting. It just doesn't work. So uh, just open a Photo Bucket account. All you have to do once you have the account open, you hit upload. I'm going to upload one more icon to this Google Sites uh, dir uh, folder I've made. I'm going to upload this Spring Valley B. All right, that's it. So I'm going to go to my library, I've created a couple folders. There's a folder for Google Sites icons. I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to use this Twitter icon. So to use icon, you just hover over the icon, a gear wheel pops up, you click Get Links. And for my Google site, I want this HTML link. When you click it, it's going to flash yellow. It's going to tell you that it just copied that. All right. We are going to have to edit this link ever so slightly. I find it a little bit easier to edit it in Notepad before I paste it into my Google site. And what we need to edit is just this very beginning piece right here. This bit of code right here needs to be changed to the address where you want people to go when they click the button. So in this case, it's a Twitter button. I want my viewers to go to Spring Valley High School's uh, Twitter page. So I'm going to come over here and get that address. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste that right there. Okay, that's it. That's all you got to know. So now I'm going to copy this code and in my Google site, wherever I want to put this uh, icon, you hit the edit page pencil. You're going to insert an HTML box and simply paste that code right there. Hit save, hit save. And there it is. When your viewers click on it, it will take them to the Spring Valley High School Twitter page. If you want to put multiple um, multiple icons in there and string them together, that's also really easy to do. Let's get the um, let's get the uh, blogger icon. I'm going to get that link. Click that right there. All right, again, I need to edit this slightly before I paste it in there. I'm going to need to replace that with the um, Viking Update address, which I'll get right there. And paste that in there. Copy this whole thing in my HTML box. I'm just going to go right to the end of the last one. Delete that little bit right there. Paste that in. Hit save. Save. And now I have two. You click on that when you go to Twitter. You click on that one, click on that one, you go to the Viking update. All right, you can put as many of them in, the, in there as you like, um, and that's all there really is to it.